Christ followers with a passion to serve. Engaging culture with a biblical worldview. Creatives with the creator's mind to ignite thought. Glory to glory sharing his story. Today on No Rebuttals, we will be dealing with church hurt. Watch until the end. Thanks. When I think of these words, I personally experienced this. And what came out of me or what I held in was bitterness, strife, hatred. And to be honest, this is not a joke what I'm about to say, but lightweight make first 48. Like that was how serious the, I guess, confusion was inside of me. Because I once <clears throat> fellowship with these people, broke bread with these people, hugged these people, walked and prayed with these people, and they prayed for me. And to experience that, it brings about a confusion almost to the sense of poison or, the, or it tastes like poison on the inside of me because I didn't understand it at the time being new to the faith. And I think that's a big component of what made me feel that way was being new to the faith. And seeing what I saw, and many people can relate to what I'm saying right now. Because many people have turned away from God, <clears throat> turned away from Christ, have turned away from the Bible completely. Many are walking in different or even walking without God right now. And I thank God that it didn't turn me to anything else because I also knew inside of me there was nowhere else for me to go. And God told me this, and this is what really began to set me free from church hurt. He said, Kedrick, don't hold people who I have let go. Basically, in a nutshell, by me holding them hostage in unforgiveness, I was holding myself hostage, not letting them go. So God said, I'm going to hold you in the same quicksand that they in if you don't forgive them. So I tell y'all tonight, unforgiveness, let it go. And you will be free even if the person that you felt did you wrong still in bondage. Church hurt. Um, it, it may sound cliche to some, uh, but for others who uh, spent the majority of their life in a uh, church setting, um, it's just as real as of a wound as a gunshot. Uh, and it lasts longer, actually, because the people that you held in high esteem, not knowing anything about the faith or being new to the faith, and you assume that um, those people are trustworthy, you feel let down once you realize that um, they aren't who they present themselves to be. Um, now, honestly, and to be fair, a human is like prone to make a mistake. Uh, but there's a difference between uh, an accident and um, intentionality repeatedly. So in regards to church hurt, uh, what I would say would be make sure that your primary focus is on God, his word, his kingdom. And um, that alone will help you to navigate through uh, 
this thing we call life, even um, in spite of church hurt. Whew. Church hurt, man. I can understand how some people can be hurt by the church. You know what I mean? There's a lot of things that go wrong and that are so messed up that goes on in a lot of churches. I mean, pastors fornicating with members of the church, fornicating with members' wives, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Deacons messing around with the children, you know what I'm saying? A lot of things that's going on, man, that people try to, you know, that the church try to uh, sweep under the rug. The members that's really going there just, that's really trying to learn something, you know what I'm saying? That's really trying to you know what I'm saying? Give the uh give the father a chance. And what's going on? It's just not they just not see that, you know what I mean? Um and it's like, you know, that's why a lot of them leave leave churches and try to go to another church, or they just don't give it a chance at all after that. You know? It's like the church puts such a such a, a damper on their heart. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to believe or, you know, trust in God anymore. Um, it's like breaking up with somebody that hurt your heart so bad, you know what I'm saying? And then when you leave them, you try to go to a, somebody else and you bring what you've experienced with that cur with that person into the new church that you're going into. And then, you know, you, you feel with so much hurt. You don't even want to give that person a chance to to prove themselves to you that they are not like the others. You know what I mean? Um, you know, it's a hurt, it's a hurting thing. It's a sad thing, man. Um, but you can't take what you've experienced from another church to a church. Not every church is the same, man. Not every pastor is the same. Not the members. The members are not all the same, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these churches are serious about what they're talking about. You just gotta, you just gotta give them a chance, man, and don't think they're like anybody else. <laughs>